I'm wearing my Megan Rapino jersey. Booyaka! Okay, here we go. Okay, where we left off. If things were going ideally in my life right now, what would it look like? What is my ideal self? What would my ideal day look like? However, have an honest look at my current reality and then think, what's my highest goal? And what's my goal now? Then focus and commit. What's my ultimate vision? What's my near-term goal? And then what baby steps do I need to be taking to get after those goals? The only thing we can control is the meaning we give something. We can't control outcomes. We can't control events. But we can control the meaning we give to stuff. Stop shitting on yourself. I should do this. I should do that. I should have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Instead, say, I could do this. I could do that. Much more positive. And look at all the things that happened in your life. Your childhood, the bad stuff, the good stuff. Like all the stuff that you went through, the suffering. See as it See, all of it is good stuff, man. Like, I'm here now because I learned from all those things. I went through all these terrible times, but I'm, I love those terrible times. Those terrible times were great. Thank goodness I had them. Yeah, man, because a lot of us that are really good right now, we went through a lot of suffering and we learned from that suffering and we used it as a tool to become the best version of ourselves. But you ha in order to do that, you have to like who you are right now and you have to be positive and you have to go with love. You can't go with darkness, you know. That's a very Joseph Campbell hero, hero mythology, archetype, Carl Jung. Booyaka! I think every time I say Carl Jung, I'm going to say Booyaka afterwards because I love Carl Jung so much. Okay. Our job is to align with the divine. Our job is to purify ourselves. I am the light and I am the light bulb. To allow myself to be strong enough and have the courage to live the life I want to live and to fu feel fully alive so God can flow through me, to breathe. If I'm ever feeling fear or stress or upset, breathe. Five seconds in, five seconds out. Long breath. And keep it going. That's also trauma therapy. My work is to live what I know is to be true. I'm not focused on outcomes. I'm focused to how or who I need to be to allow God's essence, the flow state, to flow through me. And that's what I should be doing. I shouldn't be really focused on anything else. I should be focused on how I could live and contribute to the world and the way I could contribute the best is to have God's energy flow through me and enter that flow state and have that focus to stay in that flow state to give to others and, and just um, be what the world needs. How I interpret my environment, and, and for me, it's just spending time with people, connecting, talking with people and listening. And, and I think that's what I'm really here for is just, just walk and sing as I walk look at nature I'm like a bard I think in my past life I was one of those bards that went from town to town and sang and talked to people because that's pretty much what I am now <laughs> and I love doing that it's like my favorite thing to do <clears throat> how I interpret my environment and the people in my environment is everything focus on my blessings my accomplishments and my goals and then stay on target and adjust as I focus on my goals. My target has to be defined, and my target can't be too far out there. A certain level of stress is very good in order to grow. I must challenge myself. What is my why? What's inspiring me? What's my motivation? Learn to take breaks to work with stress. Um, so you could have that balance, you know, just, you could, you know, you know, do things and then allow yourself the time to, you know, repair and, and, and enjoy life and just take, you know, take it slow. 
meditate. Um, but that's the 24 hour thing. W to work with stress. And the hallmark of a winner, I don't really like that word, um, um, is my personal optimism plus my enthusiasm for life. Concentrating all of my energy on completion. Concentrate on completing an idea. The more incomplete things that are in my life, the more stressed out I will be. The most important point is planning my ideal life. What would my ideal life look like? And spend time moving in that direction. If I could do and have anything, what would I do? And what would I have? Why am I here? How can I give myself to this world? What are my strengths? Knowing who I am and how I can best use my strengths to give to the world. For me, it's just being present and listening and being around nature. I love that and I think that the more I do that, the more I could just give to people in this world. Because that's what really makes me feel a lot. My buddy Tyler once, he asked me in, in a train, um, you know, what my purpose in life is. And I, and I told him to be in nature as much as humanly possible. Like that's my purpose, to just be in nature and be with nature as much as humanly possible. Because I am nature. Oh, not to break old Dallas on you or anything like that. We are no longer triggered by other people when we embrace ourselves. I take 100% responsibility for my life. I do the work. <clears throat> yeah, that's an important thing, man. Happiness takes work, man. It takes work. I am not a victim, and I do not complain. What is my purpose? Make a list of 30 things I want to do in my life, 30 things I want to be in my life, and 30 things... I want to have in my life. I have to have an attitude that I can do whatever I want in this life. I am in, like if I want to wear a backpack all day, that's cool. If I want to play basketball, that's cool. If I want to help people, that's cool. You know, if I want to save dogs, that's cool, man. Like I have to have an attitude that I could do whatever I want in this life and not have people's opinions of me distract me from accomplishing and doing the things that I love to do that make me feel truly alive. I'm an inverse paranoid. I believe that this world is here to help me. Everything that is happening in this life is happening for my own good, my own growth. A 99% commitment is harder than a 100% commitment. Always commit 100%. Know that there are some people who are full-time professional triathlon athletes. So if I'm ever really hard on myself, or I think I'm not enough, or I think I'm not good enough, or that I'm not doing enough, know that there are some people who are just professional athletes, like triathlon athletes, and who are enjoying themselves. Like Courtney Dillwaters, she's like my favorite human in the world, and she just runs all day in nature. It's like, what? So if I'm, if I'm ever beating myself up or I'm really hard on myself, like just think of Courtney Dillwaters and be like, oh, like, yeah, man. Like, Courtney Dillwaters, she rocks. I have a beautiful opportunity to live an amazing life. I just need to step out of my own way, stop being so hard on myself, stop riding myself, and let myself live and let myself just have it. Just have an amazing life. And don't take life too seriously. Because I'm going to die. Anyways. Do you know what your great-great-grandfather did? Of course you didn't. Do you know what your great-great-great-great-grandfather did? Of course you didn't. Nobody's going to know about you anyways 200 years from now. So you might as well enjoy yourself. But don't cause suffering to other people. And don't cause suffering to yourself. <clears throat> know where I am. Know where I am going. And take action to get there. I do not make excuses, and I tell the truth. I live a life of virtue. What is my mission and purpose? I live my mission, and I know what I stand for. And if that changes, what do I stand for now? What is my mission now? 
to have creative uh, discipline to just show up and rock it. I need to be willing to change. I need to be willing to be flexible. Ah, oh, crap, really? Oh, it's still gone. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry for the crap. I need to give myself freedom to evolve, to jump from the zone of excellence to the jo zone of genius, the flow state, which takes focus. That's what life is about. It's about focus and work and effort and then rest. Is there something about myself that I need to let go of? We have to be willing to kill the past version of ourselves to be born to the next greatest version of ourselves. Joseph Campbell. If I'm stressed out right now, think about the meaning I am giving to it. Then apply new meaning to it, a more positive meaning. Thinking is just asking and answering questions. And we're, and we're going to have to start looking at the quality of those questions. Because sometimes these questions are really bad questions with really bad answers. And what we need to start working on is, what is the quality of our questions? What is our primary question? Like, how can I let God flow through me? Which is the flow state. I will feel more at ease with doing the things I need to do to let God flow through me. Instead of asking myself a bad question like, are people going to judge me if I wear a backpack? Or uh, am I going to look like an idiot? Or if I'm, you know, or are people going to pick on me? Uh, and you're asking all these questions, but they're bad questions because, you know, they're not important. You know, it's not important for you to live a, a, a love, like in a beautiful life. This way, if I ask the primary question, how can I let God flow through me and, and be in the flow state and come truly alive? This way, I will start doing the things that I really want to do that make me feel alive. And I won't worry about the other stuff, like what people think about me. <clears throat> and I have to be willing to make mistakes. And thinking about the same thing again and again and again is like watching the same bad movie again and again. So stop watching the bad movie. That whole last part was Tony Robbins, by the way. Um, and PNTV. Am I living to have or am I living to be? True fulfillment can only come from within. Fulfillment, lasting fulfillment, cannot come from external things outside of myself. So I'm not living a life to have. Having is a sickness that can never be satisfied. I need more and more life experiences. I need more and more things. I need more and more love from people. I need more fame. I need more success. If you can't find fulfillment and happiness right now in this moment, I'm here to tell you more fame, more money, more people, more success, more love is not going to give you a richer life. So decide to have a fulfilling life right now. Why wait the nine years? That's also Tony Robbins. Don't get wrapped up in the persona. Don't get wrapped up in what other people think about me. Focus on my character. What do I stand for? What's important to me? What makes me feel alive? What do I value? Focus on what's important to me today, right now in this moment. And focus on these important things. Do not focus on things that do not matter, like uh, things that are outside of my control, like the people and what people think about me or, or, or you know, the outcomes and all this other stuff. Things that are, I, I'm never going to give energy to anything that is outside of my control because I can't control that. I should only give um, energy to things that are in my control, like my actions, my character, my Buddha nature, and and the meaning I give to things. Those are the only things that are truly in my control. That's very stoic, by the way. Um, a healthy feeling of inferiority is not something that comes from comparing oneself to others. It comes from one's comparison with one's ideal self. What is my ideal self? My worth is not decided by someone else. Have the courage to show up. Have the courage... 
have the courage and focus to get over things quickly so I can show up again. Don't let recognition and praise by others control me. Don't let reward and punishment by others to control me. That Lyrian cone, the poor me, me obsessing about me. Number two, that it's because of them, that bad person. Or the healthy thing in the Ad Lyrian cone, which is, what should I do from now on? To not focus on the past, but what should I do from now on? If people have to be a certain way for me to be happy, then I'm always going to be unhappy. And if I always have to be a certain way to be happy, then I'm always going to be unhappy. The most healthy people in this life are flexible to the changes in everyday life. And know that no one should be a certain way. That was also Tony Robbins. All of it. Allow myself to just be. All I am is the stillness and the intuition, the oneness. When it is upset and has intuition, this is trauma intuition. That is Peter Levine. The trauma intuition should not be listened to. It will lead to more bad life decisions. Wait for the trauma intuition to end and the it is upset to pass. And know that emotions are not good or bad. Emotions just are. And they teach us what we need to do and what we need to be. They are clouds in the sky and a lighthouse. A teacher, a guide, a lighthouse. This too shall pass. All right, everybody. Hope you're having fun today. Much love. Pinot rocks. Gotta cover up that Nike symbol. Oh, have fun. Peace.